Hail Chistakvalov is with you. I am a curator of the Unreal Engine 5 courses of the Architech school. In this video I would like to talk about global lighting in Unreal Engine 5. This video will be useful for beginners who are just starting to master Unreal and trying to figure out global lighting. In order to be more clear, I will draw analogies with 3ds Max and Corona. Let's take this scene as an example. In order for global lighting to work in Corona, we use the Scene Environment section in the Render Settings. In this case, we can light up the scene either with some color, or with an HDRI map, or with Corona Sky. I will start viewing and switch to this section, Single Map. Now the scene is lit in white. I can also light up the scene with some map. For example, I have white HDRI map. Now let's see how the same is done in Unreal. I open Unreal. Here I have a scene in which this house is loaded, but there is no lighting in this scene. In order for global lighting to work in the scene, you need to add skylight. Skylight in Unreal is analogous to the environment settings in Corona. Let's see what settings it has. Skylight can operate in two modes. The first mode is Captured Scene. There is Photograph in the scene. We'll talk about it later. The second mode is Specified Cube Map. It means using some HDRI map. Now I will add here the same HDRI map that is used in 3ds Max. Done. Now we have the same lighting. The only thing you may notice is that we have a dark background, while in 3ds Max we have a white background. The thing is that in 3ds Max you can turn on the reflection of the HDRI map in the background, but in Unreal there is no such function. In order for us to do the same here, we will check the bug's direct viability override. Let's just have back here. That means that it is almost the same as Skylight in Unreal with these parameters. We can upload any HDRI map to Skylight and get the lighting we need. We can also rotate the HDRI map at any angle. This is done using the source cube map angle parameter. Now let's talk about the second use case of Skylight. This is captured scene. In this mode, Skylight, as it were, photographs what is around and creates its own HDRI map based on received images, which then lights up the scene. Now we come to the question of where to get the image in the background. And what Skylight will photograph? We can get the background image in several ways. The first way is to use the element which is called BP Sky Sphere. This sky sphere is like a sphere around our scene on which there is a customizable image. If we draw an analogy with 3ds Max, it will be similar to Corona Sky. The most important parameter of this element is the vertical position of the sun, which will affect its color. Also, we can adjust the sky sphere color manually. Uncheck the tick and adjust the color using these parameters. Now we can see the background image, but we still don't have any light in the scene. Here's what you need to do. I have already said that Skylight takes photos in Capture Scene mode and forms its own HDRI map based on this. Sometimes Skylight photographs the scene automatically when we change some parameters. But if this doesn't happen, we need to click on the Recapture Scene button, which is located below. Rephotograph this scene. We click and it's done. Skylight photographed the environment of our scene, formed an HDRI map and lit the scene with it. 
This is the second mode of operation of Skylight. This mode is convenient to use when we want the nature of the lighting of our scene to be as close as possible to the color of environment. Let's set the background image to white. In Skylight I will click Recapture. It's done. Now our scene is lit up in grey. What other options are there to set the background environment of our scene? I'll delete the sky sphere. We can notice that after the removal of the sky sphere, the scene is still lit. This is due to the fact that there is information about the lighting from the last photographing in the skylight. To update this information, click Recapture. Another way to set an image of our scene is to use fog. For example, atmospheric fog. This is what atmospheric fog looks like. It also sets the color of the sky, depending on the position of the sun. To change it, you need to rotate this element. I will go to Skylight and click Recapture. Now the lighting is generated based on the environment that was made by fog. As we can see, they give different effects of environment in combination with each other. Depending on this, the lighting of our scene will also change. Also, the background for the scene can be set using the Sky Atmosphere object. However, in order to the Sky Atmosphere to work, it is necessary to use another object called Directional Light. It performs the function of the Sun. In the Directional Light settings, you need to tick Atmosphere Sunlight. Directional light also works together with other scene lighting options. But when using Sky Atmosphere, the presence of directional light is obligatory. The directional light is used to set the position of the Sun. Now let's go back to Skylight and re-photograph this scene. As we can see, this set lights the scene in this way. We change the lighting of the scene by changing the position of the sun and press recapture again. Naturally, if we delete skylight now, then global lighting will also disappear. We see that the bluish hue which has global lighting has disappeared. At the same time, the scene remained lit by the sun. Also, the object is still lit in the shadows, although there is no skylight. This is because we have Lumen running and it calculates the re-reflection of light from the sun. A few more words about the sky atmosphere element. As we can see, its lower part is dark. In order to fix this, you can use an element such as fog together with this element. In this case we don't need atmospheric fog, but exponential height fog. Atmospheric fog does not work with sky atmosphere. Thus, by adding various elements of the environment, we can adjust the background images as well as change the nature of the lighting of the scene. At the same time, with all these elements, we can also use an HDRI map for lighting. The background will be set using the environment elements and the scene will be lit using HDRI map. I will go to Skylight and activate the Use HDRI Map mode. Now the light is taken from the HDRI Map and the elements of environment are used for the background image and do not affect the lighting of the scene in any way. Also, you can use any other HDRI Map, for example, this white one. At the same time, the directional light object continues to perform the function of the sun and light the scene, we can rotate it and use it as we need. 
Now I will show you how to set a background image using some painting. For example, I have such a JPEG image. How it can be done? To do this, I create a regular sphere. Increase its size. For example, 100 by 100 by 100. Now we see how everything has turned black. This is due to the fact that the sphere has blocked global lighting. The light does not pass inside it. In order to fix this, we need to uncheck Cast Shadow. Next, how to place an image in this sphere. I create a new material, drag the image here, send it to the emissive color parameter and set two sided in the material settings. Done. Thus we can set the background image using some kind of painting. The size of the sphere can be increased even more if we see that it is not big enough. You can also add an additional parameter to the material so that you can adjust the image a little. Now that we have a background image, we no longer need such objects as fog, as well as the sky atmosphere. Our lighting is set using an HDRI map, and the sun is set using directional light. If we see the words preview in the shadows, then this is for the reason that we need to bake the light. Or if we are not going to bake the light, then the light source should be switched to movable mode. I'll try to choose another image for the background picture. I go to the material settings, to the texture parameters. Here you can change the texture either by selecting from the list or by selecting in the content browser and clicking on the arrow. After that, we save. Done. That's it. We've looked at the few simple ways to adjust the lighting of the scene as well as the background image. I hope this video was useful to you. Thank you for watching.